and let's play some Grixis Control. I'm pretty excited. I do like I do like playing this. This deck has been fun to play. It's really not in my wheelhouse, but I do I do enjoy it. I don't play a lot of control decks, but it is certainly fun. It does it, it provokes a lot of fun games. Hey tacos, how you doing? If you're looking for a control player to enter the wheelhouse, I'm a person. Okay. Dude, good for you. I want to see Star Wars on Saturday. I am pretty amped for that. Let's join a match. Look at that. We won the die roll. Round one. And this hand is sweet. We will keep it. I'm I'm in, I'm inclined to just play. I guess I want to get like a blood or not a blood crypt a watery grave with this. I'm keeping it because the games that I've played, this card has been awesome. This search, botanical sanctum, birds of paradise. Okay, might be in trouble here. I think I'm still going to play the search because I need to find a land unless I find a piece of one mana removal here and then I'll just kill the bird and hold up spell snare. Yeah, but now I think I've just got to play this search here. Put the shields down because we need to hit some land, land drops. Botanical Sanctum Bird. Probably playing against like Nightfall. Okay, Devoted Druid. Come on, give me a land. Put Island in your graveyard. No, I want to draw that. So I think I'm just going to... Um, even though I would like to hit this and have him discard, my I want really don't want him to untap with this because this gets more mana. So I think we're just going to go bing, bing... Black, red, one. Can you explain to me why Cracker Barrel labels their mac and cheese family size when it's perfectly possible? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we got two for one there. All right, now I need at least this spell snare. Put Seer Visions into the graveyard. The problem is my opponent's going to be able to cryptic. He's going to be able to uh, company because this makes enough mana to do that. Because like one, two, three, untap, four. So I think I'm actually going to put Seer Visions into my graveyard and try to dig and hopefully hit a land. That's good too. Now if we... Next turn, if like we don't hit a land, they don't hit something, we can snap hit this. And we have Spell Snare. Alright, opponent finally hit their land drop. Alright, Eternal Witness, that kind of sucks. Because then they get a Devoted Druid back, alright. Then I'll probably just hold up and either spell snare it or snapcaster bolt something. If I hit a land drop, no, nah, I'm not going to snap serum because I, if I hit a land drop, I'm going to want to hold up cryptic command, I think. Put thoughts gathering in the graveyard. One, two, three, four. Thought scour is five. So I can just thought scour and flip my search. Next turn, which gives me a land, so I think I'm just going to draw this. And I don't think I'm going to main phase it. I think we're going to pass. I'll Thought Scour at the end of the turn. 
And hopefully my opponent doesn't hold up for collected company. And I'll flip this search and oh, now they're gonna get the, the company. Well, hopefully I'm gonna end the turn Thought Scour and then hopefully they don't go for it. And the search flips so that I can cryptic. Okay, let me untap. Um, I think I am gonna put Snapcaster into my graveyard because it's gonna give me something to K command back in the late game, and I just want to hit lands. Yes. All right, that's not bad. So. Oh, OBS disconnected. Okay. So I'm just going to hold up Spell Snare and Cryptic Command. So if my opponent goes to Cryptic on the end step here, then I can untap and snare the Devoted Druid. OBS reconnected successfully. And we're back. OBS tweaked out for a hot second. All right, my opponent doesn't do anything. A township's gonna be a bit of a problem. I'm gonna get a, probably get a wat, or get a, a watery grave here. And not gonna tap out. But we can go here, Seer Visions, look for some cantrips. Command's good. We'll put this on the bottom. We'll leave the bolt on top because it's going to let us get rid of his clock. I think I'm going to command now. Is even my opponent does this on his main phase, like we might be able to grind through it. And we have a spell snare, so I'm going to go return target creature from your graveyard. I'm going to get this snapcaster back, and I'll just shoot this. Alternatively, I can handcuff my opponent's mana, which I kind of like doing better. Return target creature, and then I'll just shock this bird. And I thought I couldn't lose any more respect for you. Yeah, Kevin, we're just we're doing a little bit of everything. This is my friends. My friend plays this deck. And then we're gonna be able to deal with this lightning bolt. Now I think my opponent should probably main phase collected company. If they've got maybe they don't have it. I'm just playing around this for no reason. Yeah, I wanted to just play a Search for Escanta deck, to tell you the truth. Just wait for the Coco pillow. <laughs> oh, Nathan. Oh, Nathan. Oh, geez. We go this and this. All right, we will spell snare that. Is this getting spell colored? Huh. Houston, we might have a problem. 
hashtag donation deck list. So now I can bolt this. Or I can go, I can try in combat to block and snap bolt it. Or I can snap dismember this. If my opponent tries to play like another two drop, bolt this and snare it. We're in a tough spot. Snap, dismember, block. Dismember this, block here, bolt this. It's probably my best play, but like it's still in a hard mode. I can sear envisions also and do that. So let's sear envisions. I think we want both of these. I know I want the land because I want a second red source. And I don't think I need all these Snapcaster Mages. I think I just want to hit some land drops. And then I'll pass. Give my opponent the, the chance to combo me. My opponent tries plays a two drop. I'll just bolt this spell caller and then spell snare it. We want to go into combat. So I'll flash in this Snapcaster Mage. And I think I'm going to try to block this. And I'm going to target this member and block here, and then see what my opponent does. I don't think we're about that negative EV life. So we'll get target this thought, this dismember. I, would, I am going to do some uh, Holiday Cube. Okay, so he untaps the Druid. So I think I'm going to bolt this Druid in response. Cord for two. Bolt this in response. Now I'm going to be able to block this and trade. And then if my opponent tries to play a two drop, then I can dismember this and block it. Unless this gets, if this is a voice, that's pretty annoying. <clears throat> For everybody that's watching here, I have uh, added a survey here to the stream, looking to just make things a little bit, uh, see how I can improve for people that are watching. So you should all uh, check this out if you've got the time. I would very much appreciate it. So this is all of the Snapcaster triggers still in the stack. So it, there's a way that I definitely clear this board here, like if I go block here, untap, or block here, dismember this, I go down to five life. I probably take two from this, go to seven, then go to three. But that kind of like time walks his next play, then I untap and I bolt whatever he does. It's a scavenging use. All right, that's not bad. So now he eats this. Then I block here, take two. And 
And then I main phase bolt this scavenging hose. Main phase bolt the bolt or bolt this yeah bolt the ooze and then I can wait. I appreciate your input, Kevin. Okay, so it's my sand tester. I think we're turning the corner here a little bit. Meg's out of town. <laughs> so we'll take two from this. My opponent passes. <clears throat> Play land. God, play a two drop. My opponent's got a... Another spell queller, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that looks like exactly. This is a company. Hopefully they don't company into a spell queller. Because the company into a spell queller, I'm in a lot of trouble. But... If I can hit with a lightning bolt, bolt this, spare this. Come on, no spell caller. All right, that's good. Target lightning bolt. Bolt this. This comes off. Spell snare that. I think I'm going to play another search, then pass. We've got cryptic command. I'm not going to crack. Well, I'll crack this fetch line at the end of the turn. I think we're going to let that happen. If he's got another, if he's got a spell caller, he's got me either way. Beginning of combat. If his last card's Queller. Oh no, I, I clicked through that. That's okay. Oh. The struggle. All right, I will just, I guess I've got a bounce one draw card. Return. I guess we'll just return this. My opponent's probably like, what? It looks like they had the spell caller. Yeah, didn't matter. All right. <clears throat> what do we got off the top lodge knot? All right, so I got to think. Probably the counter spells are a little weak in this matchup. The spell snares are probably fine. I'm going to assume the counter squall and the logic knot don't really matter. I, the brutalities are good. These are good. The damnation is good. And I've got to assume the static caster is good. So, what do I not want? I am probably maybe don't want the spell snares on the, on the play, but maybe want them on the draw. Um, I guess I don't need that many Kologons commands, and I kind of don't really want to delve card. I can probably shave it, but I need a way to win, I guess. I have to cut a card. Cut a card, you say. Probably another command. Command just seems kind of slow. I'm not bringing in Liliana's defeat, Nathan. 
What a troll. All right. We're lead off. So we have no black, but we have double bolt. So I think I'm going to keep it. It's a bit risky, but... But we, we play we play fast and loose at this channel. No. Oh, the stops. This is sometimes where it happens when you use your fingers here on the as a go instead of just using like the keyboards sometimes you just have six through your turn it happens to the best of us i would love to see a black land here well another bolt's not bad i think i want to bolt this right now just so my opponent doesn't company and i'll bolt whatever his follow-up is on his turn They like my opponent just gets a cut the bolt snaps here and searches cold ones, commands mountains and islands and bringing lingering souls siege rhino. Siege I hate siege rhino. I still hate that thing. But I'll play. At some point I'll get back to there. I'll play a traverse one of the abs and X eventually. I played Jund a little while ago, so I probably should give the other the other version a try. Alright, opponent doesn't have a play. Blue-white is a little bit outside of my... God, we are just a little bit outside of my price range there. But I might be able to get into it if I borrow some of my friend's cards. God, we're just not going to draw a counterspell and our opponent's just going to collect a company as right out of this game. Five color shadow. I think we're gonna leave that be for now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna play in the PTQ this weekend and the modern challenge. God, we are just we are doing it. I'm gonna wait on this because even if I bolt this, if I find a black land, I'm all set. Yeah, I like uh I just like five color shadow. I think it does everything that you want like a Jund or an Abzan deck to do. And then it also can just kill people on turn four. I'm going to play Death Shadow in both of those events. I think it's good right now. What do you mean MTGO is pretty hostile at the moment? There's not much blue-white control. I think I'm going to try to I think I'm gonna bolt this to the end of the turn to see... Well, nah, I don't want to lose this. There's not much blue-white control. Like, you've got a positive... God, you have a positive Titan Ship matchup. How's it going, Radio? You've got a positive Titan Ship matchup. I think the Tron matchup is like even, but the way. No, I don't think it's that Ox versus Tron, right? I mean, it's, yeah, it's all about how you build it. Like, I'm going to have three disdainful strokes in my sideboard. Oh, yeah. Like, I would say Titan Shift is like one of the reasons you play the deck. Because you've got, uh, after sideboard, you've got four Stubborn Denials. You've got three Disdainful Strokes. God, we could be in a little bit of trouble here. I think I'm just going to bolt this at the end of the turn. I'm going to get companied here, but like... You've got three Disdainful Strokes, four Stubs after sideboard, and eight Discard Spells. With a legitimate clock. Like, yeah, Titan Shift is one of the reasons why you play Death Shadow. Okay, opponent just lets it go. We're probably just gonna get companyed and wrecked here, but like, what are we gonna do? We had to play the surge. We just have this hand of all black lands, and my opponent just said nothing. Like, what is going on over there?
Yeah, we gotta let that happen. This is so awkward, this makeup here. Hopefully we draw a black land. So then if they play this out, I can at least brutality and escalate it and discard a card. All right, so opponent's gonna once again sit on this. Not the swamps, yeah, you're right. Put Blood Crypt in the graveyard, no. So I think I'm going to try to tease out on my opponent's turn this um, with trying to get this terminate out of my hand. I'm going to take four and then hopefully, because these are going to be able to gain us a little bit of life here as we go further in this game. Then end step, I think I'm going to try to kill this vizier and then hopefully my opponent quellers it and I find another black land. My opponent appears to be flooding out a little bit too. Okay, then we're now we're gonna try to hit this. And then hopefully we find another land and we can damnation. That's what we're going for here. No, we will keep creeping tar pit. So my opponent definitely has a company. So the question is, how do I want to... I don't really want... I think I'm just going to play Tassiger. It's going to like... It's kind of a Nambo with this search, but I kind of want a way to be on the battlefield. So what happens if my opponent companies? Because we easily could die. I guess if I go Collective Brutality... Escalated. Yeah, I'm going to go collect a brutality and escalate it because I want to at least impact the board this turn. And I'm going to, and then like my opponent has to choose between like companying or spell coloring, and spell coloring only puts me at two. So I think we're going to escalate it. No, we're not going to escalate this one. We're just going to go, I guess we're going to escalate it with two modes to make him so that he does it. And I think we're going to go target a point. We're just going to do minus two, minus two, reveal. And I'm going to discard a Tassiger. I don't know if this is like right, but we're in a tough spot at the moment. We just had too long without black sources. All right, so we'll take this cord. So my opponent's got to dispel. So my opponent's hand's garbage. Like, we actually could win this game. My opponent's got a dispel and a burden hand. So they clock me. And this is going to make it so we can flip our search at least. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they drew the land. I am going to put Thought Scour in the graveyard just to flip this. And I think I'm actually just going to Damnation and just to clear the board. Well, let me take a look what's on top first. All right, Snapcaster. So we're going to put this on the bottom. We're going to put this on top. I can go Brutality. Now, I think I'm just going to Damnation this turn. Just clear the board. I should have I should have used my mana better here. I should have made it so that um, that I could... I should have made it so that I could search by not doing Serum Visions. Oh, jeez. That was loud. Watch your ears. Uh, Nyoki, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate... Or any KO70, I should play the sport. Sorry for everybody's ears. I definitely should have not serum visioned.
And I think I'm just going to like Drago here, play my tap land, activate search, just try to bury them that way. My opponent companies, though, we could be in a little bit of an issue because they've got this dispel back up. This is an interesting game. That's why I like this deck. I don't know if this Grixis control deck is like any good, but it, it creates like interesting games. Like this game is awesome. I do enjoy playing it. You're thinking I should take the Dispel, Nathan, in my main phase? I wonder what my opponent's thinking about. Are you being serious about the Dispel, Nathan, or are you just trolling me? And if my opponent, like, one, two... I guess we can't go triple. Like, we can't go Brutality, Snapcaster, Damnation in the same turn. Let's your Snap do better things, right? I guess it does, yeah. And it also is going to, like, let us trade on some tempo, because this is going to be really annoying at some point. The question is, do I just ditch this land to gain two life? One, two. Yeah, maybe I just ditch my land to gain two life. <laughs> is this card worth two life? I don't think so. I don't have Cryptic in my... I don't have Cryptic Command in my graveyard, Nathan. All right, so here comes the company. All right, it's a spell caller. That is slightly annoying. So one, two... I guess now I upkeep, terminate this, or upkeep lightning bolt this. One, two, three, four, five. So activate. Or I could just activate search. I could just damnation next turn too. So I guess I'm just going to pass and activate search. Take a shot from this. Okay. So next turn, we just snap damnation. And I take this out of their hand. So we're in a good shape now. We're not in good shape. We're still in a little bit of trouble here. I probably just act now. Nah. I guess it all depends on what, what I draw. Oh, wow. I guess I take cryptic. Any order. Untap, snap damnation, take his dispel. Oh, wow. Okay, so alternatively, I can upkeep, snap bolt. He counters this, snapcaster bolt, I cryptic back. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So now we're in good shape, I think. This search is sick.
I could also bounce my Snapcaster Mage, like counter, counter this, then bounce my Mage. Then I can just minus on this Noble Hierarch to have a clear board. I do not, I do not like blue white control as, as like a deck. I don't think that like, I get why blue white is like really good against creature decks. Okay, so letting that occur, and then I think I'm just going to. Nah, we're gonna go up here. Yeah, I just don't like what blue white control does when it comes to playing against combo decks. Like it's got no clock unless you have Gideon on three. So we take this. Oh, we don't have six. And then we... I guess we just let this occur, and then I'll just snapcast or bolt it. It's got at least four lightning bolts and four Kologons commands, right? Like, that's something. One, two, three, animate. Yeah, so we're we're just gonna we're gonna finish this game out here. And then we, our opponent goes to nine. So end of turn, we'll snap bolt, and then we'll just go cryptic tap team down, and we can attack. Now we will counter target spell, draw a card. So what do we got? Two, four, seven. Okay. And then we snap bolt our opponent. Yeah, that's the only reason that I like I like that I don't like blue white is that I just think that. Because you don't have like the counter spells and such, you just it's gonna you're gonna struggle to win a long game, I think. I don't really like I kinda want this I kinda want my own dispel in now that I think about it. I don't think I want counter squall. I think we're just gonna run it back as is. Like my friend play like my friend plays it and he's like the deck's absolutely insane against like the top tier cards of the format, but the problem is you just can't beat, like, the Chaff. So this is where we have no red mana. If I don't draw red mana, can I win this game? I think I'm going to keep this, but I definitely could see this not turning out well. But we've got, like, Damnation to catch us up, hopefully. Okay, we didn't draw red mana. Step one. Come on. God damn it. I mean, I guess I did this to myself, but at least this... No, this flipping's not even good, because now we can play Spell Queller. Oh my god, that's sad. It's got nine. Jesus. All right, that is late. So I'm actually going to upkeep, push this to see what my opponent does because they spell quote, I can just damnation next turn. I don't want to like... And I'd like to, if I can get this them off of this mana, then we should be in good shape. So I'm going to actually upkeep. If they if they hit this, then this is fine. 
because we're only taking we're taking eleven. We go down to five. But at least you've got like bolt snap bolt bolt. You know you got four Colagons commands and four lightning bolts. What's going to be pretty? So our opponent's definitely got a spell caller. What's going to be pretty catastrophic is if my opponent like doesn't spell color this and then hits a land drop. Come on, dude, don't hit a land drop. Oh, I can't do math. I go to seven. Not five. Don't hit a land drop. Yes. That should do it, right? I mean, unless my opponent hits a land, like, on this turn. Boom, boom, discard. So one, two, three, put two cards of great. Yeah, so we're going to go escalate with two modes, minus two, minus two. We're going to check out his top, or check out his library, or check out his hand, excuse me. And then I'm going to discard, probably the terminate. All right, we're going to take the unified will. And then I am totally cryptic commanding this land and his upkeep next turn like I might just go like tap your team bounce your land and then attack tap your team bounce your land just to like Get him off mana denial here. We're like a Delver deck here with our Tassiger. All right, so our opponent did hit a land, which is kind of sad. But we do get to fetch a mountain. Yeah, we're going to bolt this Noble Hierarch. And now, I guess I'm not going to bounce a land now, but, okay. Counter, target spell, draw a card. Now I can attack, play search for his Kanta. And have the old cryptic command going on. Wow, this deck is great. I'm going to just fetch a basic. Leave a triple blue. 14 viewers. I hope everyone's having a good time here. This is gone. And we're going to go counter draw. I am going to put Serum Visions in the graveyard. One, seven, then... This is ten here. Look at that! There's the emote! There's the emote! I forgot that my emote had gotten approved. It's the Roan, man. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm going to look for a lightning bolt because that kills my opponent. I guess we don't want either of those. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. My emo. Oh, man, I'm so, I'm so hyped up. I'd forgotten all about that. So now even this druid is, or uh, this thing's lethal. I'm going to get a tap land. 
my opponent wants to company now, they can company now. Because I think they have to company on their, basically on my, um, yeah, dude, that's the whole round, man. Thank you. Yes. Transform. So now I just fire up and well, that doesn't leave me another black. I only have one black source. I think we can. I'm not super sure. How's it going, Ace? So here's the play. They're going to company for sure. So I wonder if I'm supposed to attack, animate, and because if I animate and attack, they have to hit Reflector Mage, basically. Then Reflector Mage turns on Revolt, and if I can go Reflector... But I can't go Reflector Mage and Fatal Push, which is a problem. Unless they do it before combat. If they try to do it before combat, but they don't have a Tapper... If they company, they go to two. Yep, that makes sense, because they have to fetch. So let's make sure that I... Tap in such a way. Well, no, I can't do that either because it doesn't leave me a black source. So I guess I just go to combat. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about my emo. So, like, he's got to do something here. So we can't do this now. Well, actually, we could have done it then because he spell colors it. Then he has to block. So that was a mistake. It doesn't really matter. But I should have done it right then because even if he quellers this, he then has to chump block my Tassiger and he dies anyways. So there we go with the first, the first win. All right, let's put this up here. Um, once again, we've got 14. We have 14 people here tonight. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate everybody here. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Um, if you'd like to check out some of the streams, look um, down below. You can look at my uh, YouTube page there, and I archive all the streams there. And uh, if you guys need any Magic Online singles, you should check out cardhoarder.com as they, they sponsor the stream. I'm also running this... Uh, survey here to help and improve my stream. So if you're a frequent viewer, please fill that out. <clears throat> I think I'm going to stream four days this week. I'm going to stream after work tomorrow, and then I'm going to stream on Sun Saturday and Sunday. You're talking about this uh, control deck, Ace? No, okay, so what the Roan is, is this is all of our hearts, so we're playing against... Um, Whatever his name is. Uh, well, my friends used to always... We're playing against Grixis Death Shadow, so I'm going to keep this because we don't want a mulligan. But my friends used to always say, um, like, that's a roan whenever anything good would happen. It is Corey Burkhardt's list. Oh, so we're playing against Jun Shadow. At least I feel like that's what he's doing. Yeah, we're playing against Jun Shadow. So yeah, my friends always used to be like, oh, that's a roan, whenever we talked about um, something good happening. So like when I learned to play Magic, so we didn't want his top card. I think we're going to do this so we can spell Snare a Goyf. My friends would always be like, oh, that's such a roan. And um, that's what we learned, like if something was good, I didn't understand it. But then, you know, that's just, that's how it worked. So whenever I think of anything good in Magic, I always think that it's a roan. So I wanted to make that, uh, stands for... Tobalrone. <laughs> my friend that taught, my friend that used to say it all the time used to be like, he always used to go, whenever my friend like top decked something good, he'd be like, oh man, that is the pepperone cut from the buffalo. All right, we will, he can have this. So I would imagine we're pretty well favored here in game one, as long as my opponent doesn't stick a Liliana. If they stick a Liliana, I think we're in deep trouble. But if they don't stick a Liliana, I think we're in pretty good shape. Yes, like, an, like when something good happens, it's a Roan. When something bad happens, it's an anti Roan. So 
So yeah, this is Andrew Jessup, the old MGG man. Jim Davis left the Metagame Gurus today. I saw him talk about that on Twitter. I wonder why he did it. I would be willing to bet that some of the reason why those guys are doing it is the SCG just doesn't have the uh, um, SCG just doesn't have the players championship anymore. Well, if you hit a Lily, I tend to think if he if he hits a Liliana on the play, I might be in a little bit of trouble, you know. So what is this? We traversing with delirium. I'll just fetch this tap. Probably get a. I guess we'll just get a steam vent. Early Liliana's can be pretty problematic. Street Wraith. Okay. So he must be looking for some more gas. That's not bad. That's kind of our answer to Liliana. So we'll go like this. It's going to telegraph our play. But I would rather have this. It's kind of weird that this actually grows the Death Shadow. So this makes me think that he doesn't have any way to... like His hand's just stacked with answers. And he doesn't have any way to... I guess we're going to go like this to protect our hand. It, no matter what, if we let this resolve, it, it resolve, it grows his death shadow anyways. So they stub this, okay. He probably takes Kolagon's command, if I had to assume. Okay. One, two, three. So I can play this Tassiger, and I think I'm going to play this Tassiger and delve my entire graveyard and leave up Spell Snare. It's pretty weak to a Liliana, but this Creeping Tar Pit should be able to do some little bit of work. Like I just don't want to give him a free Tarmogoyf. What kind of changes did you make? If this is a Liliana, this is going to suck, but we do have this Tar Pit. All right, there's Death Shadow. Got himself a 6-6. Six, six. There's another 6-6. Six, six. And if his last card's Stubborn Denial, we are in trouble. Oh, man, there's the Snapcaster Mage. So I can actually take a hit from these Death Shadows. You like Vendillion Click? No, that makes sense. So I think I'm actually just going to take a shot from this and go to 12. All right, so opponent. I can see. I So I wanted to play a Torrential Gear Hulk in this deck. And I asked my friend about it, and he didn't like it. But... You know, what does he know? Hopefully this last one isn't another stub. Okay. So... So I can shock, go bolt, snap, bolt on his end step, and then I can take one more shot from this. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go like this, and then I'm going to pass. Grand arc. <laughs> We'll go down to three. Tarmogoyf. 
Connor McGoy. Does that matter? He's again bluffing. I think we're just going to let that happen. Bolt. I mean, if he's got another stub, if he's got a stub, we're in trouble. But I think that he would have used the stub last turn because he'd be able to push lethal this turn. Oh, he's got it. Okay. Block. Block. Take five. Yeah, he had the stub. Yeah, I mean, I like, I like Smashcaster Mage, dude. So against Death Shadow, I want Dispel. I want Liliana's Defeat. I think I want this Damnation because he's likely going to have Lingering Souls after Cyborg. I don't want this. I think I don't think I want Counter Squall. I kind of want all my Lightning Bolts. I've got one card though. It's probably like one bolt. Yeah, I'll cut a bolt. I want some bolts to be able to reach. Yeah. Because I, I want the, I want to be able to like if he gets like too aggressive, just be able to bolt him out of the game. Yeah, I will keep this hand. This is a, like a little bit discard proof because you know we've got a bunch of cantrips. So I think I actually want to bottom both of these, even though I just want to hit lands at this point. So I think we're gonna go bottom, bottom, which is a little sad because those are good spells. But what are you gonna do? Surgical is surgical is not good in fair matchups. I can understand Cryptic Command being bad here. That makes sense. Hey Tyler Cook, how you doing? That makes sense, Ace. I bet he takes Surge. But if he doesn't take Surge, I can play a turn two Tassiger, I think. Oh, he takes my push. So he's just gonna try to like. He's probably got an answer for this in the form of like a dismember. One, two, three, four, five. I've seen that deck. I think I think that's a glass in the cannon combo deck. I think it's just a glass cannon combo deck, to tell you the truth. And I think that it's much worse once people understand how to play it. Rim Flare. Okay. So I think I'm going to fetch an island. Serum Visions. Yes, but you're two for one in yourself. I think I want to keep one of these lands. But not the second one. You're just you're still just two for one in yourself, like with surgical. It only it's only good if you keep it in the hand. Standard. I used to be a twin player back in the day. Do I want to counter this? He's probably just going to take my counter spell. That was stupid. I should have Kologons commanded this. That was dumb. That was so stupid. I should have gone bing bing with this. I was just too worried about a Liliana. Well, if you're a fair player, I think the best fair deck in the format is one of these Death Shadow decks. 
Yeah, I definitely should have. I guess that's playing scared. I don't know. Yeah, Kiki, you are. Kiki through the breach is good. Again, I think I just let this happen. I think this has got like Liliana written all over it, but now I guess he can go Liliana and Stubborn Knot. He's playing the Forest too, so he's probably just a straight Soul Tie build. And then we're just going to untap, play a land. I'll fetch a Swamp. I'm just going to block. My opponent's got a tar fire. I would be surprised. I will flip this, draw this, and then pass the turn. Now I'm just going to, I guess I should Damnation. I don't really want to attack because if I attack, One second. I think I'm just going to damnation. Looks like I'm back now. So I think I'm just like the problem is if he has a stubborn denial, but would he have stubbed that? I don't think he would have... Yeah, we're back now. I don't think he would have stubbed... He would have stubbed my Crypt Command, if he could have. So, 8, 10, 12... 8, 12... I guess I'm not dead, even if he has it. So, we're going to attack. Then I'm going to Damnation. I like. I think that the uh, Kiki Jiki deck is better than the Breach deck. He might be just playing me here, but I'm not sure. It will pass here. Okay, so he's going down. Just fetching once, which is a good play from him. Spellbomb's got it. It's kind of annoying. I think there's a real mistake if he's just a Soul Tie version of this deck. Like, I think that... I think you need Lingering Souls. 
I think it's fun. I think it loses to when people understand how to play against it. I think that's when it loses. Yeah, I, well, glass cannon's the wrong way to put it. I think it's just weak. Once people figure out how to play against it, they're going to do much better. So I can't counter this. So... What I can do is one, two, three, four. I can counter this for three. And then if he pays, he dies to bolt. White, one, two, three, four, one. I can do this for three. One, two, three. No, that doesn't work. One, two, one, two, three. I guess I should have bolted in response. Yeah, that was stupid. I guess now I'll... No, I'm just going to bolt him and go for it. I should have bolted in response. Yeah, that, that's, so that's a wrong... I think it's just like people gain value... So, Snapcaster Bolt. I think it's just like people don't understand what the deck's doing or how to play against it. And... And they lose value from that for sure. How do you feel? I, I don't really want to talk about, yeah, I don't want to talk about politics here, Drago. Because, like, it, it is what it is. It's already done. There's no sense in talking about it. Um, So, I can see cutting one of these in the draw, bringing these back in. Maybe just like lowering my curve a little bit. Titan Shift is also like Titan Shift is very like it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty easy to get going with. I like Titan Shift a lot. I think I'm just going to keep this. We'll submit. There's, yeah, why not both? Oh, it's too expensive. How's it going, Co Is that Cody Jones there with the new? Um, yeah, we'll keep this hand. We're not gonna. We're gonna try not to mulligan against the Death Shadow deck. So once again, guys, if you are frequent of this stream, please fill out this survey. We're just looking to move it up. It only takes about two minutes. So my opponent's traversing. So they are landlight. All right, we'll play this. Pass. Hey, good for you, dude. So I'm going to fire this off now because this means that I can play a Tassiger on two, which I'm all about. What we got to hope is they don't have like a Liliana of the Veil to follow up with. I haven't seen a lot of his deck. His deck's just Soul Tide. And I, I, again, like, I don't really like that. We He didn't fetch up a White Land at all last game. So he's going to crack this now. Okay. I mean, I'll take that. He basically just mulliganed. Like, we just mulliganed.
A Tarmor Wife would be a little problematic. Wow, it's it's already got Delirium. Okay. This, I think I'm going to get Steam Vent. Because I want to have triple blue. Oh, but then I need it. Now I don't have double black. Damn it. Yeah, now that was a mistake. Because I guess like double black. I had a damnation in my... I had damnation in my hand, so I just compounded that by not getting double black, which that's a pun. This is another thing that I was, I was like a little critical of Corey's deck when I was looking at it. Yeah, that was a mistake. I was a little critical of Corey's deck when I was checking out because he didn't have, he only had like... He only had two fatal pushes, and I just think you've got to play those. That's an anti roan there. That is an anti roan. Come on. Uh, maybe there was an argument to bolting my opponent. So. Yeah, my, I mean, it's been sort of my fault, right? Like, I've made some mistakes. I don't think I don't think I want this logic knot. I do want this. Again, I think I'm just gonna take one more shot from this Grim Flare, and then I'm gonna look to clean up. Alternatively, I can. Flash in a Snapcaster Mage and block this Grim Flare, and then bolt it after combat to get rid of his stub. Because I'm going to assume that he's got a stubborn denial. And if we get tempoed out of this game, as odd as that sounds, I think that's almost like the right play. Because unless they've got like stub stub, but then he can't commit anything else to the board. So I think I'm just going to flash in this Snapcaster Mage and bolt this. As weird as that sounds. Like, is that crazy? Because if he counters it, I just wrath the board. But then, like, next turn, if I try to wrath the board, and he... Um, what are the odds Damnation actually resolves next turn? He knows I have it. He's been holding this blue mana, and he hasn't played out a Tarmogoyf. And he hasn't played anything out. So I'm assuming his hand is like Death Shadows with a bunch of stubs. Like, I just don't think this Damnation's... Yes, but like, what if he counters it and then plays like Fetchland Tarmogoyf? At least I get this off the battlefield. This seems pretty weak. The problem is I just don't think that I'm going to be able to have the time to damnation again. I almost just want—I think I want to flash snap in and block as awkward, and then bolt this thing at the end of the turn as awkward as my hand is, and then I can untap in damnation. Because I think he's got stub. So how do I play around stub? Damnation doesn't do anything. Bolt snap, bolting does no. The only way to get this thing off the battlefield is to block and bolt it. And then if he stubs, unless he's got blue land and stubborn denial again, so that would be three out of his five cards have to be stub, blue land, stub. Yeah, we're 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 doing this as bad as this sounds here. I just think because I because I messed up fetching, I put myself in an awkward situation. Because if we bolt, if we bolt first, then if I play my Snapcaster Mage and he pushes it, so either way, one plays around push, the other plays around bolt. One plays around push, the other plays around stub. And I guess I should have put him on push because it's more likely as stubs in his deck than pushes. So I so. 
What's up, but what's uh, what's up? Must be. <laughs> I should have done that the opposite way. Definitely should have done that the opposite way. So you were right there. That was a mistake on my part. I should have done it. I still think my line is the playing the best round because now I make him have like because he just milled a stub. So I'm going to get one of these at least. So now I'm going to take, get a watery grave and damnation. Now this probably gets stubbed. And then next turn, he doesn't know about the second damnation. So we did have blue land stub. We put him on that. Oh, then he thought seizes this one. Oh, that's so rough. How do people have such time to type such long users' names? Hey, man, some it's priorities. Some people have priority, different priorities than we do. Uh, Thomas Goblins, thank you very much for the uh, for the follow. If you're still in the chat, I appreciate it. And now he probably plays like a Death Shadow, and then we're in some big trouble here. And again, I played myself into this spot. If I would have just fetched the proper land, I think I would have won this game. But I didn't. One. I guess I want to keep... I kind of want to keep all of these in my graveyard. How much do I want to keep in my graveyard? What do I want to get back? I probably don't need to get back this bolt. Probably just Snapcaster and Damnate. I guess I can get Serum Visions back as well. So let's tap this. And then we're going to wait, see what he does. So he kept the card on top. So I think, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what he has. Oh, Dismember is literally the worst card because now they're both lethal. He's got it because now they're both lethal. Yep, Dismember was good. And I think, I think if I fetch right in the beginning, I think I win that game. And that's my fault. There, I made that mistake where I just didn't get the second black land because I wanted to have Cryptic Command up, but I had Damnation in my hand. So it was definitely a mistake. I'm going to grab this. Which member? I'm going to grab some more water. I'll be right back. Dismember is a powerful card in the Death Shadow decks. I mean, this hand's kind of weak, but we have a search, so I'm going to keep it. This card surprised me every single time I've played it. I've liked it a lot.
And here we go. The pepperoni. Yeah, the search is the pepperoni. So I guess I get watery grave tapped. And then here I get a mountain. It's going to kind of feel bad if my opponent sticks an idol on. Which I probably should have played around, to tell you the truth. Because, like, they kept seven and didn't have a one drop, so they must have an idol on. Which, there it is. Yeah, we'll put the land in the graveyard. That was a pretty good draw, though. So we're going to play a Tassiger. Which doesn't do any damage to us. Put island in my graveyard. Uh, yes. That's got to be pretty good. So go to nine. Colagon's command, make him discard a card. Attack. Yeah, I think we're just going to go here. We go to nine. We're going to put the shields down, but... We do have to finish the game. Opponent discs to land. So if they got like if they have nine points of burn, then like they got nine points of burn, which it looks like they have it. Yep. All right, so we are put cryptic command in your graveyard. No, I think I want to draw that. So I attack him here. He goes to nine. There's a lot of lag. So I think I'm going to end of turn bounce this. End of turn bounce it, then I can snap spell stare on the way down. I'm just going to hope that my opponent draws a blank. So return this. If he's got a three-mana burn spell, he's got a three-mana burn spell, which they do. Yep. And I guess I could have played around that by blocking, but I need, I need to, like, put a clock on my opponent to win the game, I think. I don't know. It might have been wrong, but I, I think I needed it to win. So let's get these in. I'm going to guess this dismember's no good. The searches are probably slow. This Dispel is probably better than the Damnation. Even though the Damnation's an out to Eidolon, but I, th I think just having like four mana cards in my deck that don't interact on the stack aren't good. Well, yeah, I mean, not blocking. So Ace, not blocking might have been wrong, but like we have to finish the game. You know, we have to try to limit our opponent's draw steps, right? Like we got we to gotta try to end this game as quickly as possible. So I think we're in the squeeze either way. Fulminator Mage might be alright, because it at least attacks. I mean, I could buy that. Maybe I want to take out, like, a command. Bring Fulminator Mage in. Because at least it's a body. Something to attack with. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Y yeah, but, like, so I had a Cryptic. 
What am I going to do, though? I'm just going to, like, stare at my opponent back and forth while there's a light idol on in play, you know? I'm going to mulligan this. And we'll keep this one. It's not great, but we just got to hope some good stuff comes off the top, I guess. I think my mistake was playing the search on two and not holding the spell snare. Because if my opponent keeps a hand and doesn't have a creature on one, they must have an idol on. At least that's what my friend says that plays the deck. Like, it's very difficult to keep hands without creatures in them. Because that's just how you go into the late game. Hitting myself with a land. So I suspend a Rift Bolt. So I'm going to get a Steam Vents. All right, we'll play this tapped. This card's gonna buy time. No, I think Ancestral Visions is like actual hot garbage. Like that card just takes way too. Like it's only good on turn one. You know, like I am just I am not a fan of that. We'll just bolt this. We take two. I have more bolts in my deck than pushes, so we'll go like this. I should have played... Nah, maybe not. Yeah, now the counter squall will get me. Um, I guess the creeping tar pit's a clock, right? I don't think we want this terminate. Maybe we don't want this tar pit either, because it's not actually a clock. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this on the bottom. That's just not like a legitimate way to win. I guess I'm drawing to... Three red spells and four black spells, so I should have I should have played this one here. Spend Rift Bolt, okay. So I think I'm just gonna start like Crypto Commanding. I'm gonna counter this and draw a card. I just wanna use my mana like when I when I have the like a spell to cast and he just might sandbag this. Because, like, if my opponent doesn't put anything on the stack, then I just waste my mana. But I don't trade for a spell. At least this is trading for something. So this puts me to 10... Seven. I guess I go here, here to start. And then I thought scour myself looking for a land drop. The problem is if I wait, Nate, he could just deploy his entire hand. You know? This is dumb to do this like this. Unless... He could just deploy his entire hand, then I don't get to cast anything. And at least then I have a chance to get a card, but I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it. And I guess Burn is like one of the worst matchups for this deck. So like, actually I guess it's kind of the cost of doing business. Let's win the last two. So again, if you guys are new to the stream, I usually play modern, but I venture into standard when there is uh, 
a deck that piques my interest. So, you know, most of the time it's modern here, but I venture into standard and legacy from time to time. Um, if you guys appreciate what's going on, I would love it if you hit the follow button. And if not, if you guys want to check out other things in the stream, I've got Death Shadow, Jund, Eldrazian Taxes, Grixis Death Shadow, some standard stuff on my YouTube page. So if you want to check out the YouTube page for that, that would be great. There, which is linked below. And if you guys need any uh, Magic Online singles, you should check out Card Order. I have not played any Esper Death Shadow. Yeah, this hand's good. We'll keep this. Probably get a Blood Crypt on one. Is Mono U Living End? What is this? All right. Chalice of the Void. So I guess we'll play this out. And hopefully we don't get Blood Moon on one. That is going to feel bad if that happens. They, they must have another Chalice. They're ditching this Chalice. So I guess we get blue red. We get blue black. Because we have a Counter Squall. All right, well, we got another spell snare. This might be a matchup where Snapcaster comes at the end of the turn. Like, depending on what my opponent does here. I don't really know what's going on, but... What can my opponent land? A third chalice. I think I'm going to do this on the main phase. I just don't know what they could have. And I'd rather just get my land drops going on. Oh man, those lands are sick. What is going on? My opponent's like the ultimate stacks deck. Those lands are very sick. So now I can just like Snapcaster bolt this at the end of the turn or like Lightning Bolt it and then Counter Squall something. So we're in a pretty good shape. My opponent's probably going to cycle a card here. I'm going to take a shot from this. Yeah, so I think that the... I think the As Foretold Living End deck is like just one of those, another combo deck that's in modern that is like good, you know, but as soon as people figure out how to play against it, it's not going to do anything really. All right, I guess that's going to resolve. Then end of turn. Walking Blister. Okay. So I'm going to Snap Bolt this Thalia into the turn. My opponent's deck is very weird. They've got like... Lots of stack effects, and then they have ways to pump out. I bet my opponent's got like a lodestone golem in their deck. So I'm going to lightning bolt this, and then hold up dismember on this walking ballista. Though it does kind of suck to dismember this and then have it just shoot my Snapcaster Mage. I 
I guess I'll just dismember this now. I can't believe they, I'm surprised they didn't attack. So I'll get a Blood Crypt. A oh, Flooded Strand does not get Blood Crypt. That's the one off fetch land. So I guess... I'll take two life to do this. Just get this thing off the battlefield. If my opponent wants to sink mana into this walking blister, I think we're going to be alright with that. So I guess now I could just fire up Tar Pit and attack, but I don't know what my opponent could land. Like their, their chalices are gone. I don't know what kind of scary things are in their deck. I have no idea what this is. They 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 have like Chalice of the Void, Gemstone, they're like some kind of stacks deck. Drugs. <laughs> I think I'm tempted to just fire up this tar pit and get him for five. Kind of just start putting a little bit of pressure on my opponent. <laughs> Nathan, this seems like a deck you could play. A blue land. They didn't even fetch a basic. My opponent had, like Blood Moon in their deck? Worm Coil, maybe? God, if my opponent plays a Worm Coil, took out Ozzy and Demata the fun times, yep. Yeah. My opponent plays a worm coil engine, I'm gonna be sad. So I'm just gonna bolt this now. Save myself a damage. He'll then ping me or ping Snapcaster. Ping Snapcaster, that's what I would do. I would like to draw a land so I can attack with Tar Pit and have Counter Squall. Alright, well now we're not attacking with Tar Pit. <laughs> now we got some cryptic command action going on. Smuggler's Copter. Yeah, I'm going to use the more, even though this counter squall does something here, I'm just going to use the more expensive card in my, in my hand to just be mana efficient. And then hope we don't get punished with their last card. I guess the only card, like, this could be a Fraction Unlife, maybe? Reflector Mage. All right. Snapcaster Mage. You don't say. Attack for three. One, two, three. So I can just go Bolt Snap. Or play Snapcaster Mage Lightning Bolt. Goes to six. Attack him for five, he goes to one, and I can still hold up counter squall, so I think that's the plan. We're just gonna do it next turn. Because the counter squall means with like what we have on board, if our opponent puts anything on the stack, they die. That we can counter. I'm assuming anything that would prevent them from dying here. One Snapcaster. So I can just get this tapped and still go Snapcaster Counter Squall. Yes, but I mean he could have. It's not he could have drawn something, right? I mean, like this turn, I might as well like play defense. I think, especially after like because this right here puts him to one. This attack, and I hold up Counter Squall. I had Counter Squall Mana, yes, but I couldn't flash in Snapcaster Mage. Right? I couldn't flash in Snap and go Snap Bolt and hold up, like go Snapcaster Bolt and a turn. So I think that's what I wanted to do, right? Like I wanted to wait what he did and then I can react. I also had Snap Cryptic if he played like something really scary, but now I got him down to one and anything he puts on the stack's dead. I think that the best play there was just to pass. 
And then with Snapcaster Mage to do anything. So I'm going to guess these rejections are good. And I have no idea what else. Like, I'm going to, I don't know. Like this counter squall kind of maybe is not that good. But I just have no idea what's in my opponent's deck. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. I don't know if I should board anything else. Like, I'll board in the Damnation if we see a Worm. I guess he's, he must have a Worm Coil Engine in his deck. Like, that's that's just got to be a thing. But then again, like, my opponent's playing Reflector Mage in the Worm Coil Engine deck, which seems weird. But what are you going to do? So again, I'm being I'm being a little redundant, but anybody that's in, um, oh yeah, right there, MTG Bot, just plug that survey. If any of you guys are regulars of my stream, I would appreciate you checking out that survey there. Just see how I can improve the stream. I'm currently working on some music, getting like a a non copyright good list, and then, um. Uh, I don't think I can keep this hand. This hand's not very good, but I, but I will not mulligan pass that. I think I'm gonna put that on the bottom. I want to find some stack interaction. Um, I got you, bro. I put on four chain. <laughs> My opponent's got an ether vial in his. God, I have no idea what's going on here. All right, my opponent has no plays. So now we're just gonna play this search for Ascanta. This is like my new favorite card in Modern. What do you got? A Judge is Familiar. Yeah, so just a stack stack. So here comes a chalice. Rip, okay. That is annoying. As it does somewhat wreck my Thalia. Yeah, we're not gonna we don't need spell snare at this point in the game. All right, Snapcaster Mage, that's my, there you are. I am going to try to, I think I'm going to terminate this. I guess I should have done that in the upkeep in response to this so that I don't get flicker wisped. Yeah, that was another mistake. We're a bit all over the place tonight. This is a Mirror and Crusader. Okay. All right, well, we're going to fire this off right now to at least get one stack effect off the yard. I guess the Lodestone Golem was, was a good idea. Ross was playing. Ross himself, you don't say Nathan. There might be swords. Okay. Um, this cryptic command cost six, so we're gonna put this in the graveyard. It's just gonna be too slow. I don't really know what we're looking for. So we're getting hit for two. We're hitting for eight here. So Snapcaster Mage is probably on chump block duty. It doesn't even trade with anything. God, this sucks. Oh, Ross Miriam.
Batter skull. Wow. To say the least, my opponent's deck is got some stuff going on. So am I dead? I'm not exactly dead. Yeah, we'll put Tasker in the graveyard. We're dead, but I can't fetch. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna concede here. Yeah, I mean this is kind of cool, I guess. Like it did its thing there for sure. So now we want now that we got an idea what's going on. Do we want anything else? I've got my damnations. Anger of the gods is probably all right. Spell snare is fine. It's got plenty of targets. I want the, all the creature removal back. Probably can cut logic knot and a tasker because we're going to assume that he's playing quite a bit of a uh, graveyard interaction. We still want the rejection. Maybe we cut one anger. Only bring in one of them. Well, it's cool what they're doing, you know. Yeah, we can keep this. Looks like they're deciding, which probably means that they've got a pregame effect. I didn't think I would probably want Cryptic Command on the play, right? I mean, if he's got so many hateful pieces, like Cryptic Command deals, bounces Chalice, bounces Rip. Like we saw we saw in the first game, we won with a bunch of little dirtily, um, a bunch of little dirtily Planeswalkers, right? Or bur dirtily like creatures. Like we won with like Snapcaster Mages and like a little bit of Burn. I don't really want Tasker if he's got... Reflector Mage and Rest in Peace, right? God, these Thought Seasons are so sweet. I'm just looking at this deck list this guy sent me. I think he's still in the chat. Yeah, so I think I'm going to stream... So oh, ace, yep. I think that I, I think I would rather. So I need to get double red with this. <coughs> so I guess I'm going watery grave. Serum visions. Put this on the bottom. Put. Put this on the bottom because I think I'm going to delve my entire graveyard. Okay, there's the vial. So this gets blood crypt. All right, we need to not draw any more lands. All right. So we don't get pathed. That deck list looks really sweet, Ace. All right, so we're going to start off by attacking. And then I'll probably fetch basic island with this in Serum Visions. All right. So again, I kind of, I don't really know if I want this Snapcaster Mage, but I guess we're going to put it on top. I don't, I just don't really know what's going on.
Okay. All right. This is spicy. Is this a sword? Because what does this do? This gets him an artifact. Etch champion. All right. I think I'm just going to bolt this because I wonder what this has got set on. What he's doing with this. I guess we can play this tapped round for me, lols. <laughs> oh, wow. So my opponent goes edge champion, edge champion, then, like, I can't do anything, right? The looter scooter. So I guess I untap. Ooh. Okay. So that goes like bolt. I think I'm going to get out of magic. Are you, Nathan? That's probably like the best draw on my deck. The thrill of storming off into Minion. You speak the truth. So I attack. He flashes this in. And then I go shh. Like shatter. Discard. That doesn't really do anything. But I should be able to like... I should be able to kill this X champion with these color arms commands eventually. The Final Fantasy card game. I have not. So I'm probably going to go, no, I should have done that. I should have done that when he was tapped out, just gone like shatter shock. That's frustrating. That was a mistake. And then I can bolt this smuggler's copter if I need to. But I guess I can't snap bolt it. So I'll wait here to see when he plays something that can crew this. And we'll go snap bolt. Okay. Sword of Light and Shadow. You don't say. This deck is sweet. He just deserves it. All right. So right here. Have him pitch a card, and then I'll probably go like, I don't know what I'll do. I could go like Shatter Shock with Snapcaster Mage here. That's probably what I'm going to do. My main phase just Shatter Shock, and then I've got Snapcaster Mages coming in. Because then I put him to seven. Yeah, snap shatter shock seems what seems like I'm gonna do here. Cause that's my tasker get in. I guess I want we have command. We got the everything, so we get another water grave. We got it all. We don't have to really worry about our mana base.
Very pretty sad. If my opponent's got like a judges familiar here as their last card, that would definitely put some sadness on the stack. I guess maybe because they can bring the sword back. Four? What do they have in their deck that costs four? There's a lodestone golem. I guess it was a bit aggressive using that. Yeah, because now... I guess they put the sword in play now. So the opponent's got sword and one card. So I assume next turn... My opponent blocks this. So I think I'm just going to terminate here and then attack. I'm going to assume my opponent blocks Tassiger. If I block Snapcaster Mage, I'm just going to, like, get him. Because our last card is Sword of Light and Shadow. And they can play... They can play Sword and Equip Sword, but... If they attack me, they just die. Unless I guess they get... No, I guess they don't. Because then they can put this Lodestone Golem in. In play. Off the Ether Vial. So this lets them gain 3. So they go to 8. Dude, I might lose this game. I guess I gain three. I put them to one. I guess alternatively, no, I made a mistake. I should have flashed Snapcaster Mage in, chumped, and then lightning bolted them. Because then both of these are lethal. Oh, that was so bad. That was so bad. I should have flashed in, chumped, bolted my opponent. Now, how do I want to fix this? I probably just go snap bolt now before they can vial this in and make everything cost more. So I definitely made a mistake, but now we're going to work on fixing our mistake. Yeah, this was definitely dumb. Yeah, this is plo this is white and black. I could have chumped this one. Oh, protection from all colors. Okay, so I didn't. Yeah. Alright, my bad. Oh, I let the trigger resolve too. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna put this card I'm gonna put this on the stack. Then he can't respond to it being on the stack. So now, if I find a removal spell for this, I'm good. Which I didn't. I guess I can activate Tassiger. And then... Hopefully he gives me back Serum Visions or Terminate. So, he can't give me back Fatal Push, because if I have a Fetch Land, I Okay. So now, we just Serum Visions. Oh, because there's a Lodestone. Okay, so let's go like this. Snap Terminate. 
I think I want both of these. Which one do I want first, though? I guess I can go snap cryptic command. He's going to gain three, go to eight. So, yeah, we're going to put this on the bottom. Put this on top. And now I just go, I just wait, don't fetch, then go snap cryptic, and then get him. I bet this deck wins a lot just because people don't understand, like, like I, I've made some mistakes with this right here. I don't play against Lodestone Golem a lot. I just made a lot of mistakes talking right there. That was a good Serum Visions. 30 viewers, guys. I appreciate everybody following. Oh, you don't have to do the deck list, Elvinger. It should be on the stream decker right there. So one of my opponents going to Academy Ruins. So they are going to go to 8. And I do have to chump block this. So... My line is I hope they don't attack with this Lodestone Golem. Just attack with this. I guess they get back Trophy Mage and then can Trophy Mage at instant speed. Oh, play it. Oh, it's a Batter Skull. I guess we have to draw the cryptic now. Or draw the snapcaster. And then we just go tap draw. Well, and can I even do that? One, two, three. No, I can't even do that because of this lodestone golem. So I'm just dead. Right? Because this costs three. Yeah, man. He just got me. Wow. Yeah, I'm just dead as a doorknob. What do you mean, yes, I can, Nathan? I can't do anything because there's Lodestone Golem. If I had plow, okay. Gosh, I just got wrecked by this thing. Ugh. Snap push doesn't do anything because of this sword. Yeah. Oh, you missed a lot of good stuff. Yeah, we are dead. All right, it is nine. Unfortunately, it is 940 at night. And I have to be up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. I still need to eat and shower. So, again, if you guys can check out that survey, please. It'll just help me out a lot. And I appreciate anything, guys. It only takes about average about two minutes to do it. So, let's go. I do, I mean, I do like this, this deck here. But, again, let's return to details. Let's go back to the deck list here. Let's get back. I do like this deck list. I mean, this deck's fun to play. You know, I'm not very good at control decks, which is, you know, part of part of my problem here. But, you know, what are you going to do? So let me find someone to host you guys. I'm going to send you over to Jarvis U. And I will see all you guys. I'll be back tomorrow, probably playing some Death Shadow, getting ready for the tournaments for the weekend. So I'll see you all again and have a fantastic rest of your night.